I don't know whose decision it was to go buy this business, but it was genius. That digital demand that can funnel into the marketplace is key, whereas the PGA has events and these kind of things. There's not as natural an extension to go from that to booking tee times. You see that platform just consolidation, that winner take all dynamic. Golf Channel buying golf now in 2008 for about $40 million. So honestly, this was a genius decision. I don't know whose decision it was to go buy this business, but it was genius. Um, golf now lets you book tee times at public golf courses. So it's a marketplace for tee times. And whenever you're watching Golf Channel, what's the integration here of, of capturing that latent demand? The integration is, boom, you get a bunch of ads that say, hey, you like golf. Why don't you go book a tee time at Golf Now? And so that tapping into that demand channel works beautifully. Demand here is very focused. Very focused. And it's a very specific you know, action that you can go take based on that. Like, hey, I like golf. I'm watching golf. I want to go play golf. Yes. Very specific, vertical specific marketplace. Boom. Golf now. Um, they've done very, very well on this acquisition. Uh, and they've now doubled down on it. And they actually, this is Comcast, which owns NBC. And it's all kind of under the NBC Sports brand. NBC Sports acquires Easy Links Golf, um, which was the number two competitor. I think a distant number two competitor, right. but still the number two competitor nonetheless. Now, what do you see? You see that platform uh, just consolidation, that winner take all dynamic, where you have the number one player effectively using the balance sheet of the traditional business, Comcast, pretty pretty nice balance sheet, buying Easy Links. Um, Easy Links had. I think an affiliation with the PGA. Yep. And, uh, but ultimately was still lagging. And now, um, Golf Channel via Golf Now just has swallowed up the whole industry. And they're easily the dominant winner take all player in the market. I think, I think that it's interesting or instructive that the PGA partnership didn't work quite as well as the Comcast one because they didn't have as much. Sure, they're the PGA, but they don't have as much kind of digital mm -hmm. demand mm -hmm. uh, as a golf channel would from you know people watching TV, people using their apps, people reading their website. Uh, so that, that that digital demand that can funnel into the marketplace is key, whereas the PGA has events and these kind of things. There's not as natural an extension to go from that to yep. booking tee times. Digital demand, it's a great, digital demand is so key. Even if, if you have analog demand, that's great. But then, then the integration question is, how do I turn the analog demand into digital demand? Because if I'm doing a marketplace or if I'm doing a platform, it's by definition digital. So right. it doesn't help me if there's no semi-efficient or semi-seamless way to turn the analog demand into digital demand. Otherwise, it, that's actually not a competitive advantage I can tap into. But it is a good example of the build, right? Of, of, of how do you kind of build internal tools, the build and buy model? How can you build internal tools to tap into the demand? Either it's digital or you're turning the analog into digital demand. Hi, this is Alex from Winner Take All. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the content. Feel free to leave a comment, ask us questions, and definitely make sure to join us on our next live stream.